This shows the average audience retention for these channels over the past 28 days. In short, audience retention is the amount of a video your audience watches before they lose interest and go elsewhere. It's not as simple as that, but the general rule of thumb is that higher values tend to be better. Thank you very much to those who participated. You are all very helpful and enthusiastic about providing data, and I really hope that you find these findings worthwhile. Before now, it has been difficult to compare our audience retention to anybody else's. Hopefully this will put your figures into perspective. The channels vary in size from 100 subscribers to over 300,000, but you'll find no particular correlation between size and audience retention. It's more down to the style of the videos. I've converted them into a graph that probably hasn't ever been seen before and may or may not break every rule in the book. It may be worth pausing this video just to take it all in and to try and work out what everything means. In a perfect world, audience retention would be 100%, with everybody watching entire videos. In fact, it could be even higher. If everybody replayed a video, it would be 200%. But the reality isn't like that. People get bored or sidetracked, clicking on a recommended video partway through because it looks more interesting, or closing down YouTube just because their boss has walked in. Here's the same graph as earlier, but with a perfect and worst channel for comparison. Both are based on an average length video that has 100% and 0% audience retention. How do we read this graph? In general, the closer the blue and green lines are, the better since more of the video is actually watched. But this isn't the end of the story. You can't say that Fartmaster is superior to Top Hat Waffle or Hatton because more of Fartmaster's videos are being watched to the end, since shorter videos use different rules to longer ones. So let's rearrange this data in order of average video length, average viewing time, and percentage of video watched. I almost wish that I could find some sort of pattern, but there's usually an exception. Top Hat Waffle and Hatton, the two channels with long videos, are always close to each other. My two main channels, 2 and 3 Clicks Philip, are also similar, probably because they have the same style and length of videos. Fartmaster is either at the bottom or at the top of the chart. I guess his short videos make him an outlier. I know what you're thinking. Can you tell which is the best channel from this data? No. It's like trying to rate chocolate bars based on their colour, size and weight. You can't do it. It's a matter of taste and personal preference, and you have to try each and every one of them yourself to get an answer. As with most stats, analysing audience retention is interesting, but you can't make any sweeping conclusions from it. There will be short, bad videos that will get more retention percentage than a good, long one. Some videos are midway through a series that has to be watched from the beginning to be understood. Only when comparing similar content can you draw any real conclusions from this, and even then it'll be limited. Sparkle's provided me with more in-depth stats for the past month, I'll show my channel's stats for comparison. The list inevitably favours longer videos since it's based on minutes watched, though short, viral videos will also do well. There's not a lot else to say from this data, so I'll turn it into a bit of a competition. His best retention was 93% with 1 minute 4 seconds watched. 3 Clicks Phillips was 89% with 1 minute 38, and 2 Clicks Phillips was 81% with 1 26. All of these are shorter than average videos, which is to be expected. It's fascinating to see the facts and figures behind larger channels such as his, and I appreciate him for sharing this information. Everybody, go give him a hug. Same with Hatton, who provided examples of retention for a short and long video of his. It's great to see such audience loyalty with his longer videos, with viewing times averaging out at over 10 minutes. That being said, this has been skewed by the people who have watched all the way through, as 50% of the viewers stopped watching after the 3 minute mark. Mr Tweedy began looking through his channel and mentioned that at the end of his short videos, people were more likely to immediately click on one of the links to others. With longer videos, they'd almost stop and think about which one to see next. Why is this? Who knows? If I was to watch short videos, I'd keep my hand on the mouse to quickly jump from clip to clip, whereas with long ones I might even watch it from the comfort of my bed, which would increase the time it takes to click on links. I hope this has been interesting and has helped you to see the channels involved and audience retention in a new light.